Man, welcome back, Black Street Boys Show, episode numero ciento uno. As usual, boy Brandon Keith, aka the Range Brother, two K Jones, Jim Baller, what they want to call me? The man to my left, boy Marge, man, the manners, and girl mouth like a dentist. Y'all know how we rocking, man. Man, you know who it is, the CEO, Rob the God, Rob Philosophies, whatever you want to call me, baby. Let's get it. You got your boy D Johnson, DJ Smooth, the man with the money, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Patreon, Patreon. Discord. Discord numbers going up as usual. Make sure you get that sure, Patreon three dollars a month. You $3. get extra hour yeah, long yeah. plus podcast, three hour plus long podcast. You get being the live streams. Of course, you get to support the show. Shout out to all the people that join the Patreon every single week. Make sure to get in that Discord, man. Got almost got almost two hundred members in there. Need some more people in there. Community's going doing live streams. I finally started streaming. Get in there. Twitch.tv slash Range Brother. Link in the description. All that, man. Yeah. Y'all to the people that's watching live. Yeah, nigga, I was asleep, my bad, man. I, I ain't never right. done this before. I did this today. I apologize to my brothers right here. Me of course, too. Brian, you know, shoot, that was some black ass tree. You know, that was maximum nigga too. Um, <laughs> it was rather black indeed. You know, <laughs> you know. Uh, but, man, you know, the show goes on either way. Y'all, man, you know what? Man, fuck it. Ultimate, ultimate, y'all, man. What's up? Okay, y'all, man, we got Mother's Day coming up. You know, if you're watching this on Friday, Mother's Day is this Sunday, only a couple more days. I know some of y'all ain't got no gifts. Go out there, get some, some flowers, some, something. Y'all, beautiful holiday coming up. I actually saw some my birthday, too. My birthday, too. She just, just got me to thinking. It really just got me to thinking, man. So, you know, let's say for a million dollars, could you... Bitch slap your mama on Mother's Day. <laughs> you can't let her know why you're doing this. You got to just go ahead and do it. Dinner time, family around, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You got to get that smack through. A million dollars. Easy. For a million dollars, I do it on a birthday. Yeah, really I do it any day for a million dollars. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, it really don't matter. Damn. For real? Yeah, my mama will get some of the money. I mean, you got to like, bitch slap the hell out of like straight oh, back yeah, she gonna, yeah, she going to get a quarter meal. You can never tell her why. She gonna get a quarter meal. I feel like she'd get over it if I just buy her a Bentley or something. True. Does money really cure all wounds? Money don't cure all wounds, man. But yeah, shit, it's a, it's a nice band aid for that one. Shit. Like shit. Get that one. You slap your mama. You might Put never band aid stick on me. This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Neosporin, motherfucker. Shit. shit. I give a band to whoever witness. Yeah, what the family got to be around? Yeah, yeah, I give a band to whoever wins. I mean, right, you got to do it in front of an audience? Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? I mean, don't nobody be in my house. I mean, it's so crazy right at you. Don't, don't nobody be in my house like that. So like, Mama, 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 yeah. I know you're going to watch this. I'm slapping the hell out of you. <laughs> oh, my God. But you know I'm going to take care of you. You know, you know that better than anybody. So <laughs> don't even be tripping about it. <laughs> I don't think I want my mother to watch this episode in specific. <laughs> oh, my mom, go watch. Uh, well, mama, I'm sorry, but... And she might text me, so we'll shit. be slapping. And you know I wear rings. Rock. Nah, Do I the can't. right thing. Bitch, slap your mama. <laughs> think of, man. Nah, I can't do it, man. Right thing is crazy. It, I think... Do the, the financial do hard on that. Boy, slap your mama. <laughs> oh, my God. 100000 not a million dollars. You still doing it? 100000 yep. Oh, my God. I can take my mom... I, I can take my mom out of work. You doing it? For a good minute. 100 bands. I can take my mom out of work for a good now minute. We're, now we're trickling through tricky waters here. Uh, How much money is too little to where you cannot do it, DJ? I, the goal would be, the goal with the money would be get, to get uh, my mom to not work. So Ooh. after that hundred thousand, under that probably be like nah, because I wouldn't. She she make damn near ninety k. Well yeah, hundred more. I know my mama gonna milk that shit for a while. You remember when you slapped me here? So I, I don't think a hundred thousand gonna be enough. Size, you, uh, my mom's smart. Not gonna get, you you, you want to give her all the money? I give her. Oh, that's cool. That's true too. Right. Right. You never take nothing for yourself. Thousand. Well, actually, I probably give her seventy five. And just keep twenty five k. I mean, all you had to do was smack. Right. So I guess it didn't take. It's like you had to put a lot and, of hours in to get that money. And I could use the money better. I could use twenty five k just fine. Seventy five k. She probably do more with it. Take no, no, nah, I ain't never smack my. 
hundred K now. Nah, five hundred K is the lowest I go. I do out of love, mama. I do out of love. Yeah, five five hundred K is the lowest I go. Smack in the name of love. Cause I can I can get my mama a whole I can get my mama a whole hundred K and she you know it's okay. We we all you know water on the bridge shit like that. You gonna give it a whole hundred? I'm gonna give her a whole hundred K. Oh damn. That's if I get five hundred K. I'm gonna give her a whole. Okay, that's what you said. I'm gonna give her a whole hundred K. She'll leave me. She'll leave me here alone. No, you I think your mom? Could. Y'all really think your mom would trip if they got some money? Yeah, motherfucker. Yes, it's, it's gonna take some time for the money to get. Yeah, that's right. what I'm gonna say. And, yeah, no, they gonna trip. They, and no, he they said didn't. you can't tell them why. That's true. So that's true. Just, that's you still just yeah. smacking them in the yeah, head, basically like here, motherfucker, hundred thousand. But like, what do you think the reaction would be? Shock. Yeah, my mom would be like, I don't know whether to be pissed or. <laughs> <laughs> My dad probably be mad as hell. Uh, it would very soon turn to anger, for sure. Yeah. I don't think I get away with that, man. Yeah, I'm so trying saying, to say, is it irreparable? Is it really worth that? I think. My, do you I, need to smack your mom with that? You know what I'm saying? I like, think do, I don't do, know. I might. I might have to. That not bad. for free. It ain't for free. You getting some life changing right money? It ain't for free. You getting some life changing money? Yeah, if I'm mm-hmm. gonna change your relationship with your mama yeah, too for life, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know that money changer. Uh, all right, I'm, smack my, I'm smacking my mama last time. I don't know if I can say it again twice in a no, row. No, I can't say it twice, man. You said you said you smacked your mama last oh, time. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't remember the question. Oh, I definitely did uh, say yeah. it. I know I didn't. I said I couldn't. It was do. a it I was the it was the love thing, right? It was like your girlfriend and your mama. Oh, cheat that woman a bitch slap your mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, I'm cheating. Oh, that was easy though. Yeah, yeah, that was easy. I had cheated on my woman. Yeah, yeah, that was easy. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Now I'm not. I, but in this situation, mama, yeah, I definitely would smack you for a hundred for a meal. Got to. The financially I mean, friendly I respect option. That. I can't say it with confidence, but yeah, I would. I love <laughs> you, mama. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it with confidence. But yeah, Smack I would. Smacking the name of love. Smacking the name of love. You that. crazy. Shut the fuck up, dude. You always hating, but your ass can't sing to save your fucking life. Yeah, nigga, you always that. hating. Yeah. But you ain't, you, you can, you, you're not going to sing for us, though. Why would I do mm-hmm. that? I know, right. I'm Terrible. Not, I'm not a monkey. I'm not just going to dance whenever you ask me to dance. <laughs> mm-hmm. ain't about I that. feel that, and even, when you you feel, about that. even when you feel it, you don't even, you don't even sing no more. You don't mm-hmm. even sing. I say no more. You never have. Mm-hmm. Even when you just feel it, you listen to a song, you don't want to sing nothing. Why? Because you scared. You know you what? smell like ass. <laughs> what? That, no. Mm-hmm. Same reason listen. why you don't ever take your socks off. Nigga, sleep with his socks on. Why? I do not sleep with got socks on. Nigga got funky feet. Sleep with your socks on, nigga? Nigga take his socks off like he got grayscale. I do walk around with socks, though. I don't walk around just barefoot. Man, I ain't uh, never seen this man take his sock off. In my bed. I mean, it's kind of strange that you want to, but <laughs> just saying. Shut your bitch ass up, dude. I'm just letting it be known to put it Nigga, we, <laughs> nigga we, live, we live together. That man ain't took his sock off. Let me probably shower his socks on. Yo, dumb ass. Yo, oh, oh, my God. Freaky dude. Bro. Freaky <laughs> dude is crazy. <laughs> speaking of. He a fan. He a fan. He a fan. Speaking of freaky dudes and freaky Ooh, things man. and freaky situations. Man, by the time y'all watching this, some new shit might have happened. I I don't know. I don't know. But uh, you know, last episode, what happened last time we talked about this? The Drake and the uh, Euphoria Kendrick. had just dropped. That's last time. Euphoria. And we, really? We, yeah. Meet the Grand? Uh, no, no. Euphoria had just dropped. Man, well, since then we have Family Matters. Then we have <laughs> Meet the Grams, <laughs> and then we had Not Like Us. Mm. The all in the span week. of like a, a week, is you know. That's honestly That's Shit. an understatement Three of the songs understatement. Are all yeah. dropped In between the, 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 the Five hours of each other Facts Facts <laughs> <laughs> Shit Literally Oh I forgot 660 Yeah four tracks And yeah, came out yeah. Yes yeah. This nigga I, Now what did I tell y'all Last week when I said Kendrick just waiting At this point Cause he, he already call that, I called it He already had the gun loaded I know I know it I already knew it You did call that You did call that I get that That was, that was impressive Yeah man I don't I, He's old. He's too smart. Drizzy. He, bro, bro. Hey, Ovo, Ovo. Drake fans are pissed, man. Oh yeah. They like the they like the Kendrick song. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> they like the song. oh, oh, Sparks. oh, man. You they know pissed. me. I am loving the Drake hate right now. I'm, this I'm, I'm, I'm loving it because I feel like you know when you've been yeah, listening been to a, a certain time. artist before mm-hmm. another person and then he get famous and everybody's like, yeah, yeah, he's raw. Like, right. You've been I had been, this hatred I've in your been, heart. I've been had this fucking hatred in my heart, man. Right. Right, he was and ahead I'm of the telling hate. you, I'm telling you, since 2013, I've been I've been hating on this nigga, bro. Yeah. Don't care. Yeah, he's Why are you so on. proud of that though? Yeah, don't care. A, he's don't an, care. Avid, an avid Drake hater for oh, sure. Oh yes, and I'm glad my my golden Kendrick Lamar is with me on that. I'm glad. You know, as of recent, well, you, people been calling me a Drake hater, and that's not true, man. You know, I still like Drake old music and stuff. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'll still listen but, to um, it every now and then. But uh, I side eye it every time I hear certain uh, things. I just yeah. don't like my comparison to the goat, though. Sorry. 
and he's just making us so proud. Yeah, we just we just Kendrick just, just makes us. We were right. We were right all along. Making oh the dark skin niggas proud at that. Factual. We Factual. were right all along. I'm not with the dark, I'm not team dark skin, but EDS. you know, shout out to the dark skins though. I support y'all. I support mm-hmm. the light skins Black too. Ass, Drake's just not a good representative right now. Definitely not a good representative. You guys, uh, you guys have had a like. We need more Derrick Roses. But y'all Period. have been on like a um, very volatile. Uh, well, Chris Drake. Brown and shit. Nah, because no. Drake had the you know oh. the little shit where you know everybody was glazing him because he said uh-huh. even this motherfucker told us he got some, you has he told us some he got some interest to spare and he could help a brother out or some shit. Like I wasn't that. glazed, no. Yeah, that's a little bit. Did good. you see the video? Oh, I didn't no. glaze him. He could spare a few inches. Like, and like, he would still be just fine. Yeah, that's that, that is crazy. Like, like, that is on, fucking gay. You know, that's a little bit of <laughs> you didn't <laughs> see the video. It's a little bit of bitch ass up, dude. It's a little bit of cock watching there. Yeah. Well, yes, I watched the video. Ooh, the verb don't change. <sighs> you know, I said what I said, and I, I'm gonna stand by it. Okay. But I still don't fuck with you. No, glazing was not the right. That I was not so. the right term to use. I think so. I think it how? Was. Like I was fawning yeah. over it. But nigga, you literally said he has enough meat to spare. He does. Implying that he has a bigger cock than you is what else we're trying like to get to. It doesn't matter. It's artificial. <laughs> don't get no body points for that. I, I ain't gonna right. lie. He is known as BBO. Shit, shit made from the same material as his ass. Like, oh. <laughs> come on. Fuck, <laughs> oh, nigga. That, 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 I'm falling over. Like, I'm congratulating him over. The, I just oh, said, man. motherfucker, got some shit to spare. But I'm just yeah. saying, like, do he don't deserve all that. Let the no. comment come out. It's just crazy, though. Like, that's what you just. I don't give a fuck. I'm a realist. I'm gonna say yeah. what's on my mind. Can, you wanna call me what you want? Whatever. Then why you get mad then? How many inches you I still don't appreciate it, DJ. Shit. You can't win, bro. You can't win. You know, you your, realist. No, it's your black ass. But Man, I said it once, I'll say it again, <laughs> god damn it. What? I'll go inch for inch with that nigga. <laughs> oh my like, that is diabolical. These are put comments a, that don't need to be made. Out. Put a sword out. And I've seen the video. Well, I haven't seen your shit. Helicopter, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, if I'm just a betting man, I'm gonna say no. What's going on, bro? What, 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 what's going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> See, they need to just take Drake out, bro, because they got us acting weird, bro. They got no, motherfuckers no, no. acting out, bro. They got I'm motherfuckers acting out. Act- Wait, man, with a pull his so sword scared. out. This man was talking about sparing some inches, man. Oh my god. I mean, like, I'm blessed already, but like, you know, yeah, if you just yeah, if you just yeah, got all yeah. the extra niggas, like, you know, you could just fucking I don't know, just <laughs> something to balance the equilibrium. This cannot be real. You say why real. they call you Big Maya? Cause I'm blessed. <laughs> Cause I'm blessed. This is not <laughs> real. We gotta be like a simulation. Right oh here. my god! Like they yeah, ain't no way to be real. But I do want to talk about one thing regarding uh, Drake in particular. I actually have three kind of three concepts around J Cole, Kendrick Lamar, and Drake. But I'll get to the other two later. All right. But um, I'm Dante said something very interesting to me when Drake was making all the accusations toward Kendrick Lamar. No one believed Drake, but people instantly believed. Kendrick and I wanted Indeed. to I wanted to speak to it because you also said something you said uh, well you never really gave me a reason to believe you in the first place yeah. I wanted to talk about how powerful your word your word is as a mm-hmm. man yes and that, yes insane. yeah that will that will carry on with you for so long that respect factor nigga you got to say what you're saying stand on business because I promise you we don't give a fuck what come out your mouth bars 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 Cause like that's my thing. People just saying like, oh, it's not even. You just believe everything Kendrick says and blah blah blah, whatever it is. Listen, I don't believe a goddamn thing that's coming out of this man mouth. Cause he doesn't give me a reason to. Mm-hmm. He don't give me no reason to. Agreed. It's just like, yeah. bro, come on, bro. Like the same, it's the same motherfucker that said he would never look twice at no kid, but got a video of him hugging on kid, talking about now, like, the way the breast feel that, on the chest, that video kissing on the particular. kid, talking about you're still thick. Like, niggas, mm-hmm. I don't give you, you 23, I'm 23. That video in I cannot imagine myself. I you know, see, I saw that. I think they brung that video up when he was, um, he was talking, he was beefing with, so I think it was when he was beefing with Pusha T. I mm. think that video got brought up see, and that Pusha shit just T. got wiped under the rug. I've been yeah, saw that video. Yeah, yeah, just because that wasn't the main accusation that mm. Pusha T was, was right. making. It's just yeah. like, it's just the stupid ass stances they take that he would he would just take. He just seems immature during this whole thing. Really That's does. why I look at these songs like even like the last track he dropped has more dislikes than, so than likes. But the hard part six. So first off, you gonna name your shit off? Like first off, you got that shit from Twitter. Niggas just Facts. saying, oh, you should call it hard part six. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I guess I'll call it hard part six. <laughs> lame, bro. Head ass dude. And then it came out. It just didn't like. It didn't even. It didn't feel like that should even been the vibe, but it's, that should be the name of the song at all. And then like the stances he took were fucking stupid. They were stupid. As I fuck. never heard some stupid shit like that on a diss track. Hold on, personally. Now. Peep in, peep game, and lock in. 
I've been waiting to find somebody to compare this nigga Drake to. This nigga Drake is the rap neon. I've been trying. I've, I've been. I've been, I've been, I've been trying. I've been trying to, to like formulate a, a comparison. That's, That's who Drake is. He's Talking fucking. About that yes, he is oh, a. He Lord, is the rap neon. No, is he alive? Yeah. There's like rumors he's dead. He got that was up or years ago. They caught that nigga at a basketball game at a, at a, at a, at a Hornets game. You said neon, neon, bro. He just recently got arrested in a different country. Oh, he's out. Yeah, he's they, good. that's because. But then he get in trouble for uh, revving his engine in the neighbor in the neighborhood. That's what it was. Yes. I saw him get in trouble run. for driving a. He was in a car with a supercar, and they was like driving like. Way too damn fast uh, yeah, on stream, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, they hit yeah. somebody, and, and then, then they ran, ran off. Yeah. They didn't hit anybody, but they were they driving did. way too. Nah, they, they, no, they, I they, saw they, the video. I, yeah, the I don't know. If, I don't want really to give a damn what Neon said, but yeah. honestly, I, I understand the comparison. But you know, mm-hmm. you know, back to Drake. Like I said, I have no reason to believe this nigga at all. Um, he didn't even like the whole thing. I just, I just don't understand how people. I guess you're, you're a fan, whatever the case may be. But mm-hmm. I don't quite understand how people want to defend him so bad. And say yeah. there's no evidence of him, you yeah. know, downloading PDF files. Mm-hmm. Um, I, but he did that, huh? He did that. But I'm just saying. Oh, that's the one said actual word, nigga. Oh, but yeah. no, PDF I know what I'm saying. But I'm saying PDF like, files. I understand. I don't, I don't know what the nigga on computer. I don't know. But but did is that like an accusation though? No, no bro. bro. He's no. replacing oh, the word oh, yeah. that we can't say. Remember? I'm aware of that. But did Drake actually? Nigga, I said no. I don't know. Oh, that's that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm asking. That's what I'm trying to explain that. I understand that. Okay. Okay. Man, you're black as shit. <laughs> I, I don't think we should call him black for being stupid, honestly. I wasn't. All right. I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be on Drake's, Drake's level, you know, colonizing and shit, man. So you know, I ain't going to say motherfucking stupid by saying he black. We understand you're a very black DJ. You are a smart man. Mm-hmm. Got crunch bar like skin. Indeed. <laughs> oh, fucking Drake though, that last track, the hard part six, it was just super uncohesive. He was talking about how Kendrick was um molested and that's which is an odd that was, which is an that odd. Was incorrect. Angle. That was incorrect. It was Kendrick's mother. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just like he obviously it's not like, reading. Yeah. And people trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, this, it, this, what, does, does he really deserve all that? Doesn't. Then he's talking about how he had never looked twice at a teenager, but nigga, we have proof of you doing that on stage live in front of thousands of people. And why are you texting a 14 year old girl, Millie Bobby Brown? I miss you. Nigga, you're weird. You freak ass 30 year old nigga. Going to high school basketball games and like, adding man. the girls from the high school basketball game on Instagram and. Or oh, whatever the hell, like I just don't get it. Like I said, as a grown man, I saw Adam Preach talking about it. He's just saying things that I think we've all just thought as responsible adults. Mm. Just being an adult and being a male, I try to talk to teenagers as little as fucking possible. Yeah, I'm scared of children that's not related to me. Literally, scared of them. Like so I, was, I don't. I was literally just talking to Brandon about this a couple nights ago. Like, I work in a fast food restaurant, so I'm constantly surrounded by a bunch of teenagers. And, you know, I'm still cool, and I'm the manager, and they fuck with me. They be asking to add me on my socials. Ah, no. That's we strange. are having zero contact outside of my job. Factual. No relationships at all. Nah, for real. Dangerous game to play. And I just don't, I, I really do not get it. I really do not get it. People want to defend him so bad, say so there's no evidence, but I'm just like, I think you're just kind of ignoring the shit. Yeah. To me, at this point, it's almost getting into it's like R. Kelly territory. Mm. I don't know all the details of how far he's going with mm. the, um, being being a freak, you yes. know. But like, even like R. Kelly, we we all knew that man liked him young. Mm. We all knew mm-hmm. that man liked him young, but we just was just still stepping in the name of love, and we still believed we could fly. <laughs> you know, so he was just listening to the shit. And then yeah. and I get it; you can separate the artist from the music, but at the same point time, if, if if we're talking about this and this accusation, he's talking about Kendrick was beating his wife or beats his wife, whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. and this and that and all that. There's serious accusations on both sides, and I, if we're going so in, in a way, it's it's a little bit more than rap at this point, mm-hmm. you know. And I just think it's people that gas up what Drake's talking about. This whole entire time, I hear people say from like the more hip hop head, quote unquote, side of criticism of Kendrick is the fact that, oh, Kendrick didn't have enough punchlines and this and that. It wasn't enough similes and metaphors. And 
there's more to good writing than just having similes and metaphors. Like, mm. I feel like if you, that's all you want from it, that's the only way you look at lyricism, that's very surface level. Mm. There's way, like your angles, your your delivery, and also like the weight of your words. Mm -hmm. Drake has hella filler bars. Hella. The only difference is that he these filler bars, a lot of times are still similes and metaphors. It's just mm. similes and metaphors that's just like, oh, okay, mm. it's, like, it's, it's, not, really, it's not really impressive. Mm. Kendrick does the opposite where he builds up he may not have some crazy simile metaphor or whatever it is going into it, but he's building it up. And when he drops the that setup. line on you, it's more yeah. memorable. It's more charismatic. It weighs more. You know, it may not even necessarily be a simile or metaphor, but, you know, certified lover boy, certified, you know, PDF file. Mm. In, in, you know, the, trying to strike a chord and it's probably a minor. Like, I think there's just more quotable. There's, there's really more like strong quotables on Kendrick's side when it comes to that. And then, of course, he hits you with some crazy, uh, Double on time just as the Yo, time goes on course. too. It's just I don't know. People pick and choose, and there's people that pick and choose on both sides. People that follow that follow blindly on both sides. Mm. But I think if you just, I don't. I th I really I really do think if you look at it from an objective point of view, like Drake is, <laughs> he be on bullshit. Mm. It is just he he made. Let's say even if he was right that Kendrick got it's touched funny. as a kid, mm. that's how you Great. respond to you getting accused of being a pervert. <laughs> That's how you respond to it? Really? And then I'm just thinking, so you don't like Kendrick. Okay, you have plenty of reasons not to like Kendrick. Mm -hmm. But what about all your fans that have gotten essayed? Mm -hmm. You know, that have gotten touched when they were kids. Mm -hmm. All the people just in general in the world. How is that supposed to like, What does that look like to them? Like, He's you literally spiraling. joked about him and said, oh, of course you accused me of being a pervert. You got touched as a child. Ha ha, made a joke. Oh, you listen to this one song by Mariah Carey. Oh, you start getting scared, huh, don't you? I'm just making jokes. Yeah. And it's just it's dumb as hell. Sick, twisted. It's dumb as hell. That boy spiraling. It really is dumb as hell. So like, I'm not inclined to believe it. I don't. I don't think he fucking planted the evidence for Kendrick to no. get fooled by. Glad, he didn't even bring that up. He that. didn't bring that up until you saw you saw that on Twitter and all this other shit before Drake yeah. said it himself. I don't believe that, nigga. Now I want to touch on that. If you you got to be a real stupid motherfucker if you think he planted. The the idea of a eleven year old daughter, right, nigga, that's not what the fuck he was really talking about, <laughs> nigga. He was talking about eleven milli, like that's really what he was talking about, nigga. So your your head is somewhere else, you dumbass. So that's one L. Wait, you're saying that Kendrick met eleven when he said your eleven year old daughter or something like that, or that was your eleventh birthday? Was, he was talking about eleven. That's what he was talking about. Uh, mm, uh, I don't, don't think he was talking about no daughter. I ain't gonna lie, cause mm -hmm. we probably. Well, if that is the case, he's gonna have to raise her now. But Stinger. I mean, he wouldn't be raising Adonis if Pusha T didn't say nothing. Now <laughs> would he? That's bars. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. that is definitely bars, bars for yeah. sure. We, we, we can't give him the benefit of the doubt that he would. Either way, <laughs> that was, either way, if that was true, nigga, how did Kendrick get that information on his hands in the first place if it wasn't bars. from someone around you? Bars. That image of not your stuff, but your daddy stuff. But yeah, that's the Nigga, that has to be, you You have yeah. to be scared. I'd be terrified. <laughs> Nigga, how do you have a picture of my dad's shit? <laughs> yeah, it, the thing, like, the way he also explained it too, he just say, oh yeah, we definitely planted the evidence. But I'm saying, but then he said like, oh, you're, oh, whoever, uh, I think he said, oh yeah, whoever on my team, whoever did that, they some hoes, whatever it is, they do mm -hmm. whatever. And then he says, I don't know, I forgot, he has some line that contradicted itself. I don't know if y'all quite remember it. Yeah. I didn't listen to shit. It doesn't get bumped. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. They not like us. If I, if, I, <laughs> if I remember that line, I'll go back to it. But, yeah, basically he was just saying that, well, whoever did it on our side, whoever they stupid, whatever, and then he goes turn and said that we set them up, yeah. that we set it up. So if that's true, then, like, you call yourself stupid or mm. whatever the case may be. But then I'm just thinking, okay, he just said that they fed him the stuff. But I'm thinking, like, oh, did he mean to say that he gave it to somebody that who he thought, who Drake thought was a mole? Mm -hmm. And then so he knew that he would, because he knew that smart. he would run to Kendrick and blah, blah, blah. But that's not what he said. Drake's that's me filling in blanks for him or rapping for him at that <laughs> you point. You don't know that nigga IQ. <laughs> That nigga, I can, tell, I, I can I, tell by his zestiness, he's probably not that smart. What? Because <laughs> he didn't explain it. It doesn't make any sense the way he said it. But, like, it's something that you could easily explain like maybe you record yourself doing it like you record a video of yourself talking about it way beforehand or whatever the case yeah, may bro. be but at this point like Drake's rich enough to even have AI like voices and do text messages or whatever like, anyone can do that hmm. so I'm like I if, at this point if you believe if he showed proof I wouldn't believe that yeah right. I'm not inclined to believe this bro, nigga 
Bro. I, I, like, bro, y'all can say we're being biased, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> sure, but are y'all not being biased? I mean, right. exactly. and I think y'all bias is worse if you just... Right. Either just way, garbage, like, it's mm-hmm. not look. Even if you are biased, I mean, no matter what side, it's not looking good for Drake, no matter how you look at it. Yes. It's not looking good for that nigga at all. Strange thing to plant mm-hmm. when you just got accused of PDF files. And then to say that, yeah, he didn't even respond to it at first. Yeah, but yeah. to say that, oh, that eleven-year-old child was—that's a weird thing to plan. Right for the first like couple days or so, that's the only thing he addressed. Like, <laughs> kind of weird. It's just like, and then they just still running with this, say, oh well, yes, he's up Kendrick. Oh. I'm like, first of all, even if he did do it, even if he did do it, it's just like, like I said, that's not the biggest allegation into. Like, I mm. personally, I don't think that's the big as big a trump card as people make it seem. Keep it, yeah. keep it a buck. A lot of the rappers who who's getting drunk. Who um, Kendrick speaks about having alcohol problem. Mm-hmm. He talks about how he had an alcohol problem, nigga. Even so, nigga, that was probably back then. Shit, it probably didn't happen way long ago. Shit don't happen no more. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, bro. And then we didn't even talk about the fact that he said, "I'm too famous to to, to, to too get, famous, you know, what I'm saying too to, famous right, to be an, an abuser, to be a pervert." I would have gotten so, caught by now. So, so, so around asshole, with, look with, around like, like that. Nigga, here, 37 taking stupid with, with stances that, like that. With that stance, okay. So was R. Kelly too famous? <laughs> it's just like, was, was, like what, what was, was Kevin Spacey too R. Kelly. famous? King of R and B or some shit. All like these that? people. Yeah. Even Michael Jackson Death had a case. Right. Had a case. Right. Was he too famous? They still on that man to this, to this day. day. And this is why he's in his grave. <laughs> like Nigga, you're dumb. It just it just make it just really just doesn't make any sense. And it oh, just, yeah, bro. And Family Matters, I guess it was a cool track. But even when I listen yeah, to first that, first three minutes. Even when I listen to that, is now <laughs> it's just like I just I don't know, bro. I'm just I'm really just not. I'm really just, I'm honestly just not moved. Bro. Not moved at three all, bit, bro. Three beat switches for bullshit. When they <laughs> like, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Three beat switches for bullshit. The you could have kept that in the boat. Beat switches and bullshit. That's funny. That's a good one. You country as hell. <laughs> you country as hell. This is going to be making shit work. <laughs> That's crazy. Bro, I, just, I, just, I don't know, man. I just be watching this stuff and I said, Kendrick, he got an anthem on his hands. That they Niggas know like are dumb. Oh, yeah. Okay, if you if you That's follow me, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been talking shit about yeah, this beef just, since it started. <laughs> now, I, cl- I did say that Y'all want y'all thought it was fucking Empire. Y'all thought mm-hmm. this niggas was just gonna, <laughs> gonna dance to diss tracks. <laughs> right. <laughs> that nigga funny. Kendrick shut me the fuck up. Dude. I threw my hands up and did like this. Ghost said, "Shut up." Okay. <laughs> Y'all are in the club talking about freaky ass nigga. He's a sixty nine god. Freaky, I, I'm with man, it though. Bro. Hey, I'm hey, with hey, it, hey, hey, run for your life, man. I'm with Bum. it though. Man, That's so hard. That man pulled a Hakeem, bro. That shit hey, I thought Drake was Hakeem. Nah, nah. I gave it to Kendrick. Kendrick gave him a, yeah, a, just, a just, for the just, club. That's in this beef, bro. whatever, just got. Real sad, real fast. And, well, and, and Drake the dance movies. on the diss track is mm-hmm. actually crazy. But okay, let's talk about this though. Let's talk about Kendrick. Yo, uh, potentially, you know, yeah, knocking yeah. his wife on the ground and mm-hmm. shit, knocking her around and shit. Mm-hmm. But y'all, y'all think there's some truth and validity to that statement? I, I, y- I, I think two things can be true. I think Boy, tracks out. he could have done it, and I think they could have moved past it. Yeah, that move past it definitely had to happen. Are you not being? Uh, this is not me saying that you are. Are you being? Are you not being hypocritical for not valuing Kendrick's situation, kind of almost brushing past it, if you will, and holding Drake to this standard or going at Drake in this man? Ooh. Well, that, that, I think there's a difference because we don't difference. have any track record of Kendrick currently beating mm. his wife, but we do have a track I'm record looking, of Drake yeah. currently doing the Fuck shit you. he's not supposed to be doing. I'm, yeah. I'm, looking past, I'm looking past it. I'm looking through his music. If if I'm gonna be honest, so like he like I said, he does talk about alcohol. He talks about his mm-hmm. uncle his being a drunk, yeah. his dad being an alcoholic, mm-hmm. and I can I can being viewing alcoholism from the outside, and I have abuse is almost bound to happen. Mm-hmm. Right. I hate to even say it, but like yeah, it uh, it's real, almost bro. bound yeah. to happen. Rage builds up and and, and, yeah. and being yeah. drunk. Whether it's happens. verbal or physical or both. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Yeah. So if so, if he was alcoholic, then. He, he may have done that before. Yeah. He yeah. may he may have had those issues before. But looking at his music, yeah. it seems as if he's been rehabilitating rehabilitating mm. himself and and, yeah, and learning off those ex- 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 and experiences I, and shit like that. Yeah, go ahead. I will never justify the abuse. You know what, exactly I'm saying? what I'm saying? That is a that is a horrible thing, and I hope he has gone through change. Like DJ said, there's no hard proof or evidence that he was beating his wife the fuck up. All right. If so, 
nigga Kendrick. I hope you apologize. I hope you changed. Like Samaj said, I've been looking through his music. He has talked about his al alcoholism. And he's also talked about how the cycle will repeat itself. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. he's talked about in his music plenty of times about his father beating up his mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's, he's definitely talked about abuse in that way in his family. And he also talks about how, yeah, like I said, it can trickle down to the next generation. It's mm -hmm. generational trauma. And um, he also has a song with BJ, BJ the Chicago Kid called uh, His Pain. I love BJ. Where Chicago. he mentions, and it's a great song. He, mm -hmm. he does mention that he hit his wife and then she hit the floor. Mm -hmm. I hit my woman and then she hit the floor. So, I mean, like I said, I believe he also had a, he had an interview at the, with the Breakfast Club probably around the time uh, T-Pag came out. And I, I'm not going to say too much about that because I don't, I didn't see the clip. I have to go back and watch it, but I don't think that he said that he did actually. Mm. I don't know. You could say in that song he's talking from a different perspective, but the way he was rapping, I was listening to it. It didn't really sound like that. It's not like before yeah. he was maybe talking about someone from a different perspective, but once mm. it got to that line, it sounded like he was talking about himself. So, mm. But my thing is, like I said, it's a terrible thing. It definitely is. And neither one of these people on both sides are innocent people. And Kendrick himself has never claimed to be your savior. He has a song mm -hmm. called Savior. He's talking about. You know, he's not your I savior. Not your savior. And uh, he's been trying to do this for the past, really, 10 years since Tipping Butterfly, mm. trying to put himself, make himself more human, put himself on a more human level because people elevate him because of how conscious and mm -hmm. how well-written and, uh, and strong his messages have been. Yeah. And um, my thing is, I think as bad as it is, it's terrible, that is something that you can be reformed from yeah mm -hmm. it is definitely but is. once you are a freaky ass nigga, nigga you are forever a freaky ass nigga <laughs> what bro i just bro don't. there's a reason why you got people that have murder charges and this mm -hmm. and that in prison you know sometimes they'll be fine they all good in there for the most part you mm -hmm. know given the circumstances and, 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 and then you got Man. freaks you know perverts freaks First yeah. ones to get Diddy. fucked up oh, in there, yeah. you know. And it's, this, it's, you know, it's the way society is the way it's work. Because even oh. if you can, if you're like, okay, I'm not gonna mess with them anymore, mm -hmm. you're still a, you you're know, still a freak, still, yeah. still and attracted you're still that, to them. You're probably right. still on that list too. Mm -hmm. And you need help, man. And, 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 and he has, and it's, it's, these are known facts. He has people on his team that were, you he know, that went that that went to jail, went to prison, and served jail time. For forcing women into trafficking and systems and mm -hmm. this and that, you can just say, "Oh, it's all just accusations." But at that point in that time, I think you're just deflecting. Yeah. There's too many things stacked up, and if all those people are turning on you and this and that, I just think there has to be something wrong with you. If, if everybody's crazy, you're, you're maybe you're the one that's insane. Exactly. You know, I just <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I you can't know, defend them. We got yeah. the we got the sexual assault or the S A. Um, Accusation that he had to pay three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, five like no five hundred k in that. I think it was like five hundred thirty. Five hundred thirty. There's half a million. Whole, million. There's a whole story. I think I'll talk about that later. There's he reached a whole settlement. Story yeah. Yeah. Settlement. Yeah, so it was it was like, settlement. It wasn't even like he got. Proven. I remember it like, though. But the fact that you even, I, don't like I just, I don't know, man. Now, to get to the, 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 I do want to say it is, po obviously, we, we know this. It's very possible to be falsely accused of something, but it's you have true. all this, this track record of. Talking to with. young girls at the bare minimum, I think at the bare minimum you're pre-ordering bitches. Oh, right? definitely. Yeah, that's all the way. But Billie thing Eilish. is, like, same thing with Tiger, bro. You don't think Tiger was 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 knocking down Kylie Jenner when she was you young? You talking was about pre-ordering? <laughs> yes. That it's, it's That's unfortunately concept. a bar, but <laughs> <a> Jesus <laughs> is crying. I didn't make that up, but he is pre-ordering the motherfuckers. He, pre yeah. he plays in he plays in the pre-orders. Oh my god, get him, get him. Yeah, he calls the man for sale. For sure, so. I told you. Fuck shit is fuck shit. Right. And yeah. he right there as soon as the release date drops. I'm god trying to tell you, bro. He, 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 he making the teaser trailers himself. Uh, this yeah. nigga was playing yeah. the beta for sure. Yeah, he's playing it. Yep, bars. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was playing alpha version one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Get him. Oh, uh, you was a freaky Get ass him. nigga. Nick, that nigga writing rough drafts. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. That was good. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Speaking of freaky rough. ass niggas, man. Oh, yeah. Did we, I'm a, I might just make this my bone to pick. Okay. This is going to be my motherfucking bone to pick. Okay. Matter of fact. Okay. Okay. Now, I went, and this is probably about April 20th, so like a couple weeks ago. Almost a month now. I went and took my computer in, okay? And me and my girl, for whatever reason, I forgot how the topic came up. I believe we seen a nigga with, like, stickers. Up. 
we seen a man with stickers of furries all over his car. Okay. Interesting. What the? What is wrong with you niggas? That's a freaky dude right there. You are, ass. bro. Okay. And, and, and I go on Instagram and you see freaky ass niggas in, in, in green fox costumes yeah. with the tails on and shit. Yeah. And you go in the comments, people like, you know, don't bully him. It's just what he likes. It's the same no. as cosplaying. Bullshit. You don't never. <laughs> bullshit. I never seen Damn. a nigga walk around in a full ass Spider Man costume all day long in public. Bullshit. I don't want to hear it. I mean, don't want to hear it. They got that one dude, form. the TikTok dude, that be the mild yeah. TikTok mild brown. He's different. <laughs> yeah, he's he definitely is different. That nigga making money he on the internet doing that. Money. That nigga's different. Yeah. Nah, you know, are out. willfully. I'm gonna do my own thing. Willfully <laughs> dropping, and I I know this by reading the comments <laughs> on Instagram on Instagram on Instagram. Man, yeah. good know I be in there co bullying, co bullying, and bring it back to 2024 character card. Yeah, definitely. So I go in there, bully my damn self, my voice. You do understand how much these costumes cost. Just so I went and Googled. Some of these costumes are dead ass $800 and up. Oh, Lord oh, have mercy. doing a lot of research on these You stuff. freaky ass nigga. Yeah, do they have like, um? but you can see that as an investment though because he making money. Is he? Is he making money as a fur? He's Oh, was it? Oh, the no, you're talking about the furries. I'm talking oh, about furries about the, uh, in the general. Shit. No, 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 no. no, no furries about the in furries. general. They're spending $800 to dress up as a pink fox. Well, I mean, we talked about the well, dude who turned himself into a dog. That nigga needs help yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's these, like all niggas that, these are all niggas that need tremendous help. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm just playing devil's advocate, but it's just crazy <laughs> okay. as hell. Bro, um, you niggas need help. You niggas need help. And like, part of me, part of me okay. sees the comment, like, oh, like, you know, that's what they're into, but like, at one point, it's like, this is taking it too far. You like, are forty years old like, dressing up as a pink. Is, is for me is the image. Are they Why? wrong? Are they wrong to want to like do that in the bedroom though? Yeah, no, I'm not. No. Say, I'm bedroom, not saying. No. I think. I think it's bedroom, wrong no. when you taking it public. Yeah. Yeah. Bedroom no. That's but the best. Public. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying. Got, I'm want to do some first shit. Right, I still think it's still weird either way. But like, yeah, but for I me, there's weirder things to do. For me, it's like the public image because, like, okay, let's say you got kids, you walking around. Okay, now your son see this big ass purple ass motherfucker walking around talking about hi wow, kids. It's a, it's a dinosaur. Like, it's right, a fox. What is, that? is that Barney? Like, no, nigga, this is just a weirdo. Like, yeah, that nigga the whole time that shit got a hole around his pelvis. That's what I'm saying. Like, what are we doing? Yeah, like, what are we doing? That's the that's the part for me. That's the part for me. <laughs> like, it's what got the zipper on his crotch. It's what the fucking furry costume is. Cause you know that's like a kink. You know, that, that's fucked what in that, that's really, yeah, that's nigga really, nigga that's, nigga that's, that's really what I'm leaning towards. You Literally. niggas are fucking freaky. So that's to, why nigga, I said to bring nigga, it, nigga got a hole on the, the backside of the motherfuckers. To yeah. bring it in public is insane, but you know, every man and woman has their vice, and if that's one of your things, uh, keep it to yourself. But that's yeah. the, that's the it thing. Don't, it don't bother me. Yourself in your house. Hey, what if like sometimes like you wouldn't want to like dress up as SpongeBob and see Sandy cheeks. We talking about, but that's the difference between in the bedroom and in public. Yeah, that don't. We yeah, talking yeah. about a one time thing, bitch. I'm not finna get in the bed every night and dress up as as as. Not as sure. Hope that SpongeBob costumes don't cost eight hundred k. Bars, it's bars, it's bars. <laughs> I'm sure that SpongeBob costume don't cost eight hundred either. Exactly. Oh, yeah, no, I find a good one. It might be. Shit. But I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. Imagine like, <laughs> imagine getting walked in on nigga, you with a SpongeBob outfit. Right. Well, what would you walk in my room for? Oh my god, you nigga, I ain't gonna lie. What is y'all into? Like if I walk in the DJ's room. I like DJ. You talk to you for a second. Oh Dude. shit! See, but, I don't think see, I can. But that's bad etiquette. You're supposed you know. to knock. Facts. Mm-hmm. Facts. 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 Supposed to what knock. What if it was something urgent though? Right. What if? What yeah, if the stove? It ain't urgent enough. Hey. To just bust in my yeah. room. What if it was a grease fire? Naked. What if it was a grease fire? Right. Had to get you out. Gotta get the fuck out of here, DJ. Oh, DJ, what the hell you a doing? A knock will stealthily suffice. You gotta bust through my shit. Christ. You only make it longer for you to get out. Sandy got the crabby patties out. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said the crap. Oh, she rubbing on your pickles. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, that's crazy. As All well. I'm but saying is, if like in the comfort of your home, home is one mm-hmm. thing, but you bring that shit around the kids, yeah. that's a little disturbing. Yeah, you know. Now you got your kid asking you weird so ass you questions. Meet, what if you meet this woman, right? She mm-hmm. the woman of your dreams. She do everything. Damn. She doing everything mm-hmm. for you. This no. and that. She beautiful. This and that. No. But when it come time to you know get down to bed, she like she like doing the furry stuff. You still getting with that? In the bedroom, I'm not doing that. Yeah, but she like she she like see into it though. Like she wouldn't mind going to a convention. She's not gonna walk around the street oh. wearing it, but she'll go to a convention though. She, we probably not meant for each other then. She but not everything else, she seems sane though. You're a freaky ass. Everything nigga. else, yeah. You're a freaky ass nigga now. I can't do that. I'm sorry. I understand. When there's I, one, would, I be, in, would, be they, would they be able to know who I am with her? Yep. This nigga. Yep. Yeah, nah, that ain't it. That's I bad for business. I already know the details of being a furry. I'm just that's bad for yeah. sure. Well, nah, she, she, she just said she just like getting fucked while you in a furry costume, man. 
That, that's all but behind she, closed he doors. Said, but he said they go into conventions and shit. You said they would like to. No, it's freaky. So you saying shit. I can say it not go? It's freaky as shit. Niggas, I guess you can not go, but she doing the shit though. And she, runs, she but you probably want to go because she's running other freaky ass yeah, first. Niggas, yeah. yeah. You that's know, bars. Freak ass nigga. Yeah, I had to pass on that. Friends but, of freaks um, and shit. I, I say that, that uh we should bull we that we should make bullying a thing for them. Like yeah. character carving. Yeah. Character carving. Carve a little character out your weird ass. You gotta Honestly. say it right. I you understand know, it. Piss a lot of motherfuckers off. Well, I, what, I, I, my definition. Gonna definitely tweak out on my, that. My my definition of bullying is carving character to someone who needs it. So you said that like it was an acronym. Or yeah, something. I thought it was like, like, actually we, we didn't think of that. <laughs> hey, I, that's you know that's how I said my definition of it. Okay, <laughs> I still respect it though. Nah, it's not a bad take. I don't know. I just know a lot of people. Cause I, I've made the comment at work. Mm. Uh, a lot of people get real, you know, real uppity about. The word bullying. I yeah. got I got bullied for wearing my pants too high, so I was flooding sometimes. See, but is that yeah, bullying though? Flooding. No, yeah, you could be bullied from that. Cause my mom had broke it down for what, me. Bullying like, just teasing. No, my mom she had like showed me the definition of what of a, or whatever, but it's just mm. it's over a period of time. So like one well, well, you always one offs, yeah, which I was. Like, one nigga, you yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah. Then I don't. I still don't think that's bullying though. Cause were you going home crying about flooding? Were you going home contemplating? End of your life No cause again I was too stupid of a kid To realize I was getting bullied by it <laughs> I just got tired of nigga saying something I was like shit fuck it nigga. <laughs> shit. But I'm saying That's why I say That's character carving Bullying is like Over a period of time And motherfuckers Is going home Like yeah. Contemplating You know See there's just levels To bullying There is though, though. Cause you know there we, is. we have We have the basic teasing And then we have like Hazing You know like at these college parties, niggas, oh, hell, niggas hell they no. forcing niggas' heads under pools and, and shit. Yeah, that's like, yeah, that's, See, that's no, hazing, no. though. And that's the bullying that I don't think should exist. I don't, but I crash unfortunately, out. the world is the world, and it's always going to be here. Um, but, you know, niggas, um, we stop being pussies. Oh, my goodness. No, for real. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Either way, uh, that's that's crazy. But speaking of crazy, what's this picture you talking about, DJ? Oh, yeah, Say Brian, what? pull it up for me. Um, you know, what? Going, going is through. it graphic? No, no. But it's 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 gonna jar you a little Wait, bit. Wait, what? What's going on? It's a it's a picture. Yeah, yeah. It's it's you go you go online and you see stupid oh, ass. Oh, I know I'm oh Lord have mercy. Look if you can for all the yeah, audio you, listeners, you it says wow. I know I'm not cotton, but will you pick me for prom? Now the picture is of a white male and a black woman. Y'all don't like the word female, so I'm gonna use the word woman. <laughs> This kind of shit is trifling. Now, when I first saw it, I'm like, maybe this is you know some bullshit, you know, some AI or you know, Photoshop. This is real shit. Now, <laughs> I know I joke around, you know, I say you know I'll be cool with the race play and all that shit, but this is unacceptable. So you got to grow up, and you you got to grow up, have kids who with whoever you have kids with, and they gonna see this shit. Yeah, he gave her that sign. <laughs> And she what was if, just look at her stupid ass, just smile like a jackass. She gotta, she gotta be better. She gotta be better. She gotta be better. What if they got humor like that with one another? No. I don't give a damn. If that's my daughter, I'm that's choking that. this nigga like Bart Simpson. I swear to God. I don't give a fuck. I'm hitting him with one of these. I swear to God. That's insane. That man. is crazy. What is wrong with you, like, bro? Man, I can't play devil's advocate for this one. Why? Yeah, like, it is pretty crazy. You know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> I'ma play devil's advocate on. He got them sunglasses because she already gave him a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm a devil cat to get on. He already got a black eye under one of them, them, them like, lenses. And he's just like, at what point do you have. Like, no way. We just talked about, you know, in the bedroom and in public. There's no way. In the bedroom was one thing. You did this shit. You probably had a little, you know, because you know, you know the prom poses are always really he big. Put the cotton you balls. know, they take the videos out and shit. You did this in public. You did this in public. So you've now embarrassed yourself put the cotton ball. for an eternity. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to find... You tried to glue like 100 cotton balls. There, in is, the no, there is no I'm trying to find light the angle, out of this bro. picture. There's no to find the light angle. out of this picture. Because oh, look, that you got to think about it, right? Down south, cotton picking is just hard, hard work. You know, it obviously has. It, it, no, I swear. Who, who is I doing swear. that hard hold work? On, hold, on, hold on, there's a, there's Lily a there's Lily a known phrase that's get, that gets used frequently down south, and it's um. Uh, you got your cotton picking mine. That, that's one of them, okay. but it's along those lines, yeah. and it's saying like you're a hard worker, and this is a part. You know, I'm done, man. I'm sorry. This shit's crazy as fuck. <laughs> 
Nick <laughs> Derrick. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I would have gave up. Yeah. Like, come on, man. It's just, <laughs> yeah. it just, it's, it's just, like, we know what social media is. You put stuff up and getting it taken down is <laughs> damn near impossible. So, you Digital know, she's key, 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 key and, she's key, 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 key and having a good time, whatever, yeah. whatever. Down the road, this will come up. I'm sorry, Kyle. I tried, man. Your kids this is crazy. See this. And like, what up? Think about her parents. And his parents probably chuckled. They probably laughed a little bit when he was making oh, that definitely. shit. Oh, they did more than chuckle. Ah, oh, this dumb bitch oh, just tried to chuck the sign. Oh, 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 Might have oh, helped his oh, ass. Might have oh, helped his oh, ass. My son's oh, a like, clown. Look at him when he ain't dead. Look at oh, him. Oh, and oh, I, my, oh. my biggest question is, what do the parents think? What what the hell do they think? Yeah, I gotta be I gotta be in line with one of the uncles. I'm choking this motherfucker like Bart Simpson like, every time I see him. My <laughs> parents will be livid and disappointed with me every time I see him. That I would allow myself to be berated, not only in person, but to have pictures taken mm -hmm. and then put it on social media to where it then goes viral. Mm -hmm. This is bad. This is not good. And you should be ashamed of yourself, woman. And you should be ashamed of your goddamn self for even thinking that that shit was even funny, clever, none of that bullshit. Nigga named Gavin. Oh, man. Fucking, get yeah, right, Gavin well, or some it, bullshit. No, it Blake. Wasn't, it wasn't clever. No, no it nigga, was, stop. It's gonna be racist. It could at least be clever. Like, bro, there should be a crater the like, size on, man. of the moon like, come in his on, chest man. right now. Like, come on. It's ridiculous. Man. Nigga. In the bed, like I, I said, it's we crazy. said it for the last topic. In the bedroom, whatever, you know, what you go in, what goes down to your bedroom is your business. Mm. But you took it to the public. Yeah, you had to expect some scrutiny from this. There's no way in hell. You know what? Like, come on, bro. Has someone sent this to Mr. Umar yet? Nigga. Oh, oh, I would oh, love to see what he would say. I would love to see that. And, and me and Mr. Umar don't get along on all of our takes, but. He be speaking on some of them. Yep. Yeah. And, and, I love to hear this. I told you, Dr. Umar, the closest thing we got to Dr. King. Our, yeah, one of our I, fans, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. If one of our fans can do us, really? do, do us a favor yeah. and, and send this clip of us talking about this photo to, to Mr. Umar himself, I know he probably don't like me very much because I got me a white woman. So beforehand, let him know, yes, I am yeah, trembling I'm, across I'm the snowy lands. I'm in an interracial relationship it's as well. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. He'd be ashamed of me, but it is what it is, my brother. But like I said, I don't agree with all of his takes, but he's speaking on some of them. Yeah. And I feel like this would get, I feel mm. like this would just piss him off. And I really, like, I would like to watch that and enjoy that. Yes. <laughs> hey, 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 now, hey, speaking hey, of. Uh, she getting lashes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 14,000 them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, speaking of uh, Umar, we'll, we'll speak about the, if you want to call him the anti-Umar right now, what's going on with you with Mr. Vlad TV? Ooh. Oh, yeah. I believe this man needs to be publicly crucified. Oh um, and let me let me explain why. All right, okay. Amongst this whole beef with Drake and Kendrick shit going on. Oh, I've been seeing the takes. Vlad, let me let me just pull this up, man. You talking about when he was talking about uh the mixing of Yes. His, his, the record. It, matter of fact, fuck all that. Vlad <laughs> needs to just in general stop stop trying to act like you know. Black culture and hip hop, bro. Yeah, I mean, he kind of does. Been you are pro. Involved. You know about locking these niggas up. You know about the dirt <laughs> these niggas done. Well, two you things can be true. Yeah. That, and that's what he's there for. God damn it. That nigga's the police. That nigga's the police. I'm not saying it's a good thing he's there, but he's very obsessed with black culture. So he, yeah. I yes. think he does know a lot. He's obsessed with making young black men incriminate themselves on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> this man is one of the biggest detriments to. The black community. He has carved out a nice mm. knack for I'm himself say on that. that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That's not taking accountability. Yes, but you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I can see what he's saying though. Like providing the platform, you know, yeah, but giving them the platform to yeah. to yeah, to showcase these yeah. stupid content. crimes to yeah. the yeah. younger kids not a college, to make it look to like it's cool. The degeneracy. Yeah. Uh, he said, hey, he's gotta, just basically yeah. another Mari. You could do you could write you could write that same uh that same bar Kendrick used against Drake. You're not a colleague, you're a colonizer. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. The same thing, like yeah, I would agree. Fifteen thousand lashes for that nigga Vlad. Yeah, like that's um, just about that. I yeah. definitely get like licensed zoologist vibes from Vlad for sure. No, oh, no, no, for, for sure. real, no, for real. He got a straight certification in that. No, for mm. real. Whoa. And for whatever reason, he like fucking with gorillas. This nigga oh, just keep fucking with killers and and where and wild niggas like type shit. Yeah. Just, that's the that's the best content. He getting the most views out of that definitely. man. Yeah. yeah, I don't watch that shit. I don't watch Vlad either. Never really have. I think he we, has some interesting in, in, interviews. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm sure it does. Interviews when they're not rappers incriminating themselves. Yes, I like, <laughs> I like to watch it. No, for real. He used to interview people yeah. who who probably lived in Compton for years and seen certain things. And like he interviews those people too. Right. I'd rather he do that, be an actual journalist instead of being an a informant. Yeah, but this is this is clickbait. You need the poppers, you know. Not everybody, not every video going to be a banger, but you got to have, you got to throw some bangers in there. Mm. And those rappers are definitely those bangers. Perk, you want to perk? Perk, like, bro. Shit, I need a perk. Nah, pop perk right now. Bro, I'm going to be itching. I ain't no fiend, though. But that, I'm nigga, itching. <laughs> that nigga needs 15,000 lashes. Yeah, he does. For sure. The nigga's tripping. And didn't he make, like, I, I forgot, I don't know what the hell happened. Didn't he make, like, some, uh... He some, tried, some college. Okay, th this is what I'm going to continue on because I said fuck that for the brief second. I guess there was a young lady who was combative of, of Lad. I guess she said some hurtful things in, in, in terms of him, you know, on, on his side. And he went as far as to go report the college that she works at. Damn. Wait, what? Not just her. He, I don't know. Or he threatened to. No, But no. they said he actually got in contact with somebody. No, he, he went and got in some contact of her employment. For whatever reason, okay. and when reported her tweet to him, yeah, yeah, because he got his feelings hurt. A tweet, or something. because she told him basically that he needs to stop throwing his input on the black community all the time. Like mm -hmm. sometimes you need to sit this one out and just watch like the rest of us. But okay, <clears throat> but uh, is Vlad really big? Yes, okay. yes, Vlad is but, huge. But why? Who's watching him? Shit, uh, mostly black people. Yeah. But that's who he's marketing towards, though. I agree, but I'm so saying... So white people going to be watching him for real. Yeah, I, I get that, but like, I'm just saying, that, that, if we know. really that pissed off, we could just stop watching the nigga. I mean, it's not, I don't that, watch it's not that simple. Well, yeah, it's really not. So what makes it more complicated? He He's already Niggas rooted. Niggas still watch BET. <laughs> yeah, like... He's already rooted. Okay. I guess. I don't know. I feel like... Like, like I said, I don't watch the nigga, so I don't really give a fuck. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they really feel like he shouldn't be putting his opinion on black people... Uh, yeah, just don't watch the nigga. Yeah, yeah you just true. you gotta remember the loudest ones are the like, most ignorant. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't. I don't believe in just cutting people from from all spaces. I think we all need to blend together and have a better understanding of one another. Um, yeah. Uh, maybe he's not going about that in the the best fashion. Not maybe. He definitely isn't more times than not. But I don't know. But yeah. I'm not saying. Well, I don't. I mean, I'm not saying you. Even, you're even saying that this is what DJ's saying, but. Yeah, we know. I'm not. None of us. Well, I'm not gonna say none of us are saying this, but we ain't saying to cancel the man. Yeah, I ain't saying that. No, just, say cancel. Like we should just like if you don't like what he's saying, yeah, just like just don't watch. Just like, uh, ass. Go ahead and block him. Do whatever. Because he's yeah. right. He does have the freedom of speech. Like <laughs> yeah, and then like, and like he numbers, said, if numbers go down, maybe he realize okay, I need to get my head out my ass. Right. Yeah. And he like he said, he's, he's uh that's why he's I said clearly intelligent in the realm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can do a lot with just your who you pay attention to right. and you know where you put your dollars, etc. Like in the video mm -hmm. game industry, Hell Divers too. They must ruin that shit. Oh, yeah. Have, yeah, that's it the whole really, thing. It really did. But then people kept hating on it. We kept harassing their ass, and they, they they reversed it. So you need, you know, stop watching the nigga. All right, Wigger. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I got something to say, man. You know, uh, me and Diddy was talking about this today, man. Uh, I don't know how the hell we got to this conversation. If I'm being honest. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I was, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I was drinking some water. You know, I went to go use the bathroom, and I, mm. I, 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 I forgot about the water bottle, and I left the water bottle by the toilet, you know. You're and then he shit. was just talking to me and said, why the hell you have the water bottle by the toilet? I was like, nigga, I was thirsty. Um, While on the toilet. Is, is that something wrong with that? I just don't see why you just couldn't see, wait. <coughs> see, as a kid. Like, why you I just, just can't I, wait? I just turned around, as and a I just kid, saw I, very concerned faces. I'm, as just kid, water? No, Brady, you're you're weird. As a kid, I, <laughs> I had this weird okay. like thought that like if I was sitting on the toilet shitting and I eat, I'm just gonna keep shitting like it's not gonna stop. <laughs> I, I, didn't say, I, I used to have that thought like planted in my well, head. Well, you're a kid though. That makes so sense. like I guess it kind of stuck with me. So like I'm not eating on the toilet or like I'm not drinking water while I'm going to go take a piss. You're weird. Oh, I remember we're talking about you talk about having relations with whores and not having oh, whores yeah. in the house. And you said no, you can't. We're not. You can't shit where you. You can't shit where you eat. Yeah. And I was like, you okay, know, you okay. said you eat on the toilet, and I was like, I mean, I mean, I have before. Yeah, you're I'm like, 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 <laughs> like, 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 like everybody knows what the bathroom <laughs> is. Bathroom it's, air, not, bro. it's not known as the most sanitary. Like he talks about it all the time. How there's fecal matter all on the ground and shit. Like but particles you, in the air, man. Yeah, now, like, don't but get you say you eat it in there. Don't. So, like, I'm not one of those. Wait, babies. wait, wait. On the toilet. What? Wait. Did he not say that? What? 
What? Man, you the biggest. Yeah, you, you definitely just The doo doo particles. Fuck, you yeah, talking about. That's, that's different. You're talking about eating ass. No. Definitely. No, no. no. Yeah, no. You talk about it. The bathroom. You talk about it with farts and all type no, of different saying, shit, bro. I was and saying. How it's everywhere. No, I was saying how stupid how people make that um, argument. Shit. The argument oh. how, like, <laughs> oh, but the toothbrush is in the bathroom and that, you know, shit particles get on your toothbrush. Now you're brushing your, your teeth with, with shit particles. I thought that was bullshit. Oh, you talking about justification for eating ass? Well, that's not what I was talking about. <laughs> What? <laughs> no, I mean that's what you mean though with the toothbrush thing. Yeah, right? people you like. Gotta, you know, put them in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Put them in the corner. Not, wait, how? <laughs> no, I didn't put them in the corner. I, was I think so. To how? I think so. I think but so. y'all niggas is dick right? How? <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. I come with what thing? the fuck he meant. But well, regardless, okay, all right. Either way, shit, motherfucker, you had a goddamn water bottle next to the toilet. Yeah. Can't, you, can't drink no you can't drink no water when you just on the toilet. Wait, no, just wait. That's wait, bro. Like, but. I was going to be in there for a while. Nah, hell nah. I was going to be in there for a while. Coffee it was a bottle of water. Shit. It was just a bottle of water. So then just wait to get out of the bathroom. I was thirsty. I'm not going to lie. And I knew I had some hours. I had to clock in in that motherfucking I'm a, toilet. I'm going to play so devil's I was like, advocate why not? because I ate a bag of chips before I got in the shower one time. I right, on the toilet? Not on the toilet, but I sat and you know sat and ate my bag of chips. Where did you sat and ate it? Where did you sat and eat it? I just I sat and leaned on the seat and you know, sat there and ate my oh, bag Oh, then well, you did it on the seat. You're, yeah. both, you're on my side then. I'm not saying I'm over there eating sub sandwiches and that's shit on the goddamn toilet. That's stupid, though. Like, you could have done it before. Like, that's fucking dumb. Like, you could have just waited. You could have just waited. Like, you ain't never ate no, nothing on the toilet. Show, but I have never, never eaten, eaten anything on the, on the toilet. toilet. Not one thing on the toilet. You never no. ate one thing on the toilet. You're Lies. weird. Lies. No. Lies. No. You're, no. You're, I don't know why you hate on me because you just admitted to eating on the toilet. Yeah. Not on the toilet, but in the bathroom. You just said you leaned on the toilet. No, he said he leaned on the sink. On the sink, not on the toilet. Fuck. He don't yeah. fuck. Yeah, yeah he's piece of you it, But that's not even the main shit. thing. That's not even the main thing that you we're trying to get. You eat while shitting. Oh, my God. That I don't, is the no, craziest don't, don't shit I've heard in my don't, entire don't, life. Don't, I can't, no, I don't eat while shitting. I have eaten while I shat. It's not my preferred thing, but I, no. I found but myself, but I found you, you myself doing it before in the past. And you will again, won't you? No, not necessarily. Yes, 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 yes. Not necessarily means yes. Yes. You are. You're goddamn right. To extreme yeah. circumstances, you might eat on the toilet again. Yeah, yeah. extreme circumstances. Yes, the, the child, the immature well, child, I'm, I'm mind not, of me. I'm not gonna mean like a hamburger on that motherfucker, but no, I right, better sure. hope not. Brandon, you're you're terrible. The brain, the, the child <laughs> brain, to me is telling me when you're eating, you're gonna keep shitting infinitely. Well, I'm not child. I'm not child. You stop. That's childish. That's childish. That's childish. That's childish. That's that is childish because you just taking the mindset of a child. Exactly. My thought is stuck there. You're weird for eating on the toilet. There are two types of people in this world: those who have eaten on the toilet and those who have lied. Stop about doing that. Stop trying to split it into yeah, two. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, no. There is no two sides to that. <laughs> that. That's definitely one of those. Bro. No. 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 The crazy thing, thing is, we haven't even gotten to the main point of the conversation. What? That was just the beginning. The main point of the conversation was sitting backwards on the toilet. Yeah, you're definitely a weird guy. I know. Oh, yeah, I, I, I sit back like this and let that motherfucker drop. No, he said <laughs> backwards. Oh. So like you like facing, instead of facing this way, you're turning around facing the other mean, way. I've never backwards. done it. Your chest is facing the the back of the toilet. I've never done it, but I was watching an episode of South Park, and this nigga. one of the you guys, this. Yeah, one of the kids named Butters, was doing. He that, was yeah. like, yeah, he said he had a juice box on his thing. He had his iPad up, and I'm like, that's pretty goddamn interesting. That's when he was like. Oh, I've eaten on the toilet before. So I'm like, well, no, that's not what I said, or man. you said something along those lines to get there. So then I'm like, well, if you eating in the bathroom anyway, why don't you want to sit backwards? Because at least you could have a place to put your damn plate and your damn drink. You just gonna be doing like the this at the goddamn cookouts with your knees together and with no, a plate I, on your legs. And no, no, at my, my old spot, I had them up while you eating your food, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the best decision. <laughs> <laughs> At least you could admit that. At least you could admit that. I thought because this is definitely not a preferred spot to eat. It took you a while to get here, God damn it because you was defending the high hill for the past fifteen minutes. Well, no, I was just saying that I've done it. I, and more people have done it. We did this in the shadows. I just had the cojones to admit this shit. This is ridiculous. I don't man. think a lot of people have done that. I, I really don't. Have done that. I don't. Think. I don't know why this has reminded me so much of that Cleveland Brown episode where he was in that little group that hurt their backs on the toilets. Yes, <laughs> but nigga. Like, but you nigga. need to be in a support group. <laughs> 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 this is fucking ridiculous. Okay. That's boring. That's boring. Uh, All right, man. You see what they do? <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh. shit. I just, I just can't imagine, you know, I got me a baked potato and a steak. and No, I wouldn't do it. You're not, he you're not said doing all that. He did say it was it's just like a bag, bag of, of chips. chips. I ain't. Nah, you had a slice of pizza on there, Same niggas that eat on the toilet. Same <laughs> niggas that Wait. sit down Okay, no, no, okay, I'll say this. 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 It's usually like I'm already eating, right? 
I'm already in my, it's something I'm, I'm holding. I'm already holding in my hand. I understand before I finish, I understand I can't justify it. I'm just saying okay. what my thought process okay. is, okay? So like I say, I have a slice of pizza, and I've already eaten most of it. And you could say, Brandon, why don't you jackass just finish the rest of the slice? That's a good point. It's a fair point. But I'm the saying the reality situation is, I want to get two birds done with one stone. Two things done at the same time. You get it done, and then say, you know, I'm done. I walk out the bathroom, I'm already done eating everything. I got to go back and eat. I don't got to go back and warm my food up. I already have, like, all I have left is like a couple bites of the crust. I'm, I sometimes, before, it's, it'd be before I even shit. I'm not shitting and taking more bites. I sit down to the toilet, and I finish eating the rest of it. And then, you know, then I proceed to do what I need to do. I think he does what he needs to do first and then text him. Like, I think he's fucking <laughs> lying. I because could. no one asked you that. Nigga, you had to throw it in there because you knew niggas were going to say it. I'm very <laughs> happy I woke up this morning because you just you just learn shit. You just learn shit. This nigga shit. is so crazy. And, bro. you know, <laughs> just, <laughs> just life <laughs> finds a way to expand your mind on people doing shit. And this is definitely people just doing shit. I just I ain't never heard no shit like this. Brandon, you are one of one. I have never no, met a human no, being. No, no. That nigga drop a deuce and then take a bite. Like, right bro, right. like, what? Like, that's funny. Like, it's funny, <laughs> but it's like, wow. Niggas like, the prison don't, don't. Nigga, they have extreme circumstances. Well, I'm just saying I'm not the only person. Them niggas sometimes gotta look, lean, or you know, you flip over across their bed and see the, see, see the fucking toilet. Yeah, they, they, they fucking toilet is like, <laughs> well, there's a reason there's a saying. Well, there's a reason why they say, well, there's a saying, don't, you can't shit where you eat. They're like, obviously, because motherfuckers shitting where they eating. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> so I'm just like, you know. You've got to be the craziest uh, motherfucker I've ever made in my life. You know, that's a fair point to make. <laughs> <laughs> this, is such a, this is such an interesting, it's such an interesting development. Oh well, y'all, God. okay, what about falling in the toilet? I know you say you haven't done it. You, you fall in the toilet. Yeah, I fell in the toilet. But you have not either way. I thought like there's two types of people. I feel like it falls in the same category a little bit. I think falling in the toilet. Those who are falling issue. in the toilet and it's those who issue. are lying about mm. never, never falling in the toilet. That don't, no, no, skill issue. not even a skill issue. Sometimes it just happens. No, it's a skill issue. Skill no, it, you gotta think of the layout of the bathroom. It doesn't it's happen. A, it doesn't happen all the time. See, but no, like, it's been, it's, it's, it's been, it's been no. a long time, but it is possible. If you it, have to act like it's not possible, possible. you're the same nigga that said it was a skill issue when I caught COVID. It's definitely a skill issue falling in the fucking toilet. And for somebody that quote unquote Another never sits point. on the goddamn toilet, how did you fall in? I had to shit real bad. Oh, and I didn't look. Hey. yeah, oh. you should, you should, usually it's because you have to but shit real bad. But it's the same bad. motherfucker that's going on around you. You sit down to pee. You sit down to pee. You sit down to pee. You're yeah. supposed yeah. to sit down to shit, DJ. What the hell am I supposed to do? Stand up and shit, DJ. So what if the hell you supposed you to about? sit down yeah, to yeah, shit? Yeah. Look at the goddamn toilet before you sit down. Okay. Fuck that. Fuck. Man, look. This is crazy. What are we doing? That Patreon. Yes, sir. I guess this black ass motherfucker might be right, but I mean, I I couldn't hold it. These are fair points to be made, but like, stop, 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 like, demeaning my real human experiences. (laughs) What? These two things can be true. It can be a human experience, and it can be stupid. 